Yeah. Yurt. 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 Neighbors are going to think this. Oh, your mom is driving. <laughs> I hope that. Let's see if that cured the hiccups. <laughs> it didn't Damn. work. This man does not give a fuck about his mom. <laughs> that should be the whole pot. Trying to get rid of. <laughs> oh, my That'd God. That'd be a good idea. Whoever could get rid of my hiccups <laughs> first. Wait, wait, wait. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. I don't want to. Close your eyes. No. Close your eyes. Close no. your eyes. Close. Trust me. <laughs> Open your eyes. <laughs> it didn't work. This man is uncurable. Get look at me. Off. Look at me. Look at me. Look Get at me. Him off. We must put him down. Look at all the cat. <laughs> You're unwell. You're unwell. You must be cleansed. You must be cleansed. Shh. Hush, little baby. Don't say a word. Mama's gonna buy you a mom. Yo, I think he farted, dude. It stinks back here. I'm no, right that's, by the, his that's butt. the sound of rigor mortis. It just kind of goes. Sound. <laughs> Welcome to the Please Listen Podcast. We're not asking you to like it. We're not even asking you to care. All that we ask is that you please listen. What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to the Please Listen Podcast. This is episode 28. Welcome back. You're here with me, Dylan, and Jason. Everyone knows, you know, we were kind of sad. Well, last time we had Dylan on the podcast. Last time we had an in-person podcast, Dylan was not in town. But luckily, he came down this time. Dylan, how are you doing? I'm feeling really good. I got, as you can just tell, bad case of the hiccups. Mm -hmm. But hopefully, you guys can get rid of them in the hour that we shoot this. I hope so. Jason? Jason? I'm tired of this fucker already. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Don't you like me, I man? hate Dylan. Let's get a check going. I hate Dylan. I hate Dylan. I hate Dylan. I hate Dylan. I want to see if I had to make a chat with myself, I would have gone. I hate Dylan. I just suck. I don't know why I bothered. I hate Dylan Q. Da, 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 to the jukebox. All right, my week was kind of okay. Um, Wait, shut the fuck up. Yeah. You're the cameraman. So, um, you, you've been delegated. Mysteriously, we lost the, the tripod for the week. Uh, not my show fault. I didn't forget it. Where's the it's tripod? Show it. Uh, but anyway, we are going to have people switch out. It's going to be like King of the Pod like we did a couple weeks ago. But the episode nobody person saw. Person runs the camera. So if any of these shots are bad, it was probably Jason. Do you have a fisheye lens on that thing? That'd be crazy. That'd be fun. I'm going to try to get one, but That'd I don't be know so, right now. We'd look like an early skate video. That'd be so crazy. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so this is the Please Listen Somebody's Podcast. Somebody's mic's not working. Oh, it's probably Jason. Or I right. think it's just Jason not talking. Yes. <clears throat> yeah, he's good. Oh my God. I ain't got shit to say to you, Fox. All right, gang. How was your week? How are we feeling? I'm waiting for Christian to get back on. What if you get cycled out? Huh? You're gets not going to talk at all? I'm not saying anything until Christian gets on. We got five more minutes until that happens, dude. I think we have no... Oh, oh. <laughs> there. All right. Um, did you already explain they were doing King of the Pod? They just did. Y'all me too? Uh, no, sorry, I was not listening. Did, okay. you, did you say something about it? <clears throat> yeah. Sorry. You're, no, it's fine, man. It's cool. I'm just so out of it. You know, I'm not. I'm not used to sitting this close to Dylan whenever we film. We we sat pretty close to each other all, all the time. He's got these. He's got these goofy hiccups going on, bro. Fake ass hiccups. It's just not real. Dude is picking his nose in front of me too. I took a gummy this week and almost saw death. Jason almost died last week. Jason, did you almost die last week? Remember? Keg stand? Let's bring that back. That's so long. It was not last week. Was <laughs> Let's bring it back again. I think it's a Dylan ass comment. It's a Dylan ass comment. Bring it no, up again. Uh, let's not ignore let's not gloss over what Keegan just said. Keegan, you said you took a gummy and almost died. Yeah, what was that about? I could tell the story. So um Christian might know. This was the night. I texted him and I was like, uh, yo, how do you play uh, how many cards does everyone get in Palace? And he explained the rules to me real quick. And then uh yeah, so then we uh, talked about Palace and stuff, and then I was like, oh, yeah, tonight I'm going to go over to my friend's house, I'm going to get high, and I'm going to play fucking Palace all night, and I was going to be so sick. And then, uh, so I went over there, I was hanging out for a bit, and we had gone previously to a smoke shop to get uh, Delta 9 gummies, and uh, they weren't, like, 
branded. They just kind of had like, you know, stuff on them. And so I took it and I, I had like a genuine like this edible ain't shit moment where I was just like, I fucking hate this podcast. Can I say that? I fucking hate recording with you dumb fucks. Can I get one fucking acknowledgement? I was. I listening. fucking worked so hard to set up this entire goddamn show so you can have a fucking platform to say nothing. Fucking freaks. Cameraman, show the setup. Show the setup. Show the setup. I was listening, Keegan. Keegan, I was listening. Keegan, I was listening. We were just tired, But man. you weren't hearing. <laughs> no, we were hearing. We weren't listening. Dylan asked comment. Anyway, so it was like these... It was like, um, like a tall contain- container, right? And it had like a label on it. And I'm pretty sure it said 800 milligrams. And um, I don't know if that was like the total amount that was in the jar or just how much was in the one gummy. But um, the other people I was with like weren't saying anything about it. Like they, like they were like, oh, yeah, like I don't really feel it, like whatever. Uh, and also, mind you, this was the night of the hurricane. So uh, I wouldn't have been able to get any medical attention anyway. And so all of a sudden, I just get like really, really anxious. And I'm like, oh, this isn't fun. Mm-hmm. And um, so I immediately get in my car. I go to my friend's house. And um, I walk up to her door. I knock on it. Wait, she, you you drive? Yeah, I drive. Tried. So the thing was, like, I I immediately I was like I was like, guys, I, I'm not feeling well. I'm not feeling well. And they're like, yeah. And I was like, I have to go. And I made it some excuse like uh, that Dylan was like panicked about the hurricane and that it was like panicking me. That's mm-hmm. a very Dylan ass move. So I like put my shoes on. I immediately fucking go outside. I get in the car. The thing was, I was in the same community as my friend, so it was just driving like around the corner. So I drive around the corner park go up to her door and i'm like hey uh i'm like freaking out right now and uh i just need help and i'm like so i i I sit down on her bed and i'm like oh this feels like really bad this feels like really bad and the first sensation that i feel is that i'm losing all of the blood in my hands and my arms and my legs (laughs) like that is the very first sensation and my heart this entire time is just like i can hear it yeah i'm gonna say yep and i was like i was like Oh my god, this is where I'm gonna fucking die. Like, gen- this actual, genuinely. I was like, oh wow, this is just the time you die. And all I could think about was like, it's crazy that like when people are dying, like they're still thinking about, like they still have to think through that shit. <laughs> <laughs> like you think about dying and it's like so instant, but I was like, damn, like I'm just gonna this fucking die. Like, I was like, I, and I have to think about, I have to think through all this. And I was like, oh fuck, wow, that's crazy. And I like, I'm looking at myself, and it visually looks like I'm losing all the blood in my arms, my legs. And the person was like, you're fine. Like, what are you talking about? This is so stupid. And I'm like, no, like, I, I'm like, I really feel I'm going to die. I'm going to die. And like, my legs are like, sh- like, it was like really bad. <laughs> my legs are fucking shaking. And I'm like, oh, okay, okay. And it lasted for about uh, like four to five hours of just, Jesus, of just that dude. fucking feeling. And, um, I, you know, I had a lot of stages. I had my shower, I had my shower era. Where I just stood in, I just stood in the shower. Just shower. Yeah, I just stood in okay. the shower, and I was just like, "Would you feel like your blood uh, was coming back into your body?" Uh, I would, and then I'd feel like pretty good, and then I was like still making like jokes and stuff, and then I was like, "Oh no, here comes the death! I'm dying now! I'm dying now! I'm dying now!" Wait, I'm did dying, did I'm your dying. friend like help you shower? No. Oh. Was this just a, like a grand ploy for your riz? Like a grand? <laughs> this is a, yeah. This like is like a grand scheme. <laughs> and you too can do this <laughs> on my game, on my hustler university, <laughs> but no. um... Then I had my throw up era, okay. where I was just violently throwing up, and like all I had really eaten that day, um, very in character, was goldfish and Cheez Its. So all of my throw up was just like bright orange. So my friend was very concerned, uh, but it, I was like, no, it's, this is normal. Normal. Um, we also called my mom. Okay. And I was like, um, it was funny because like the only thing that would sober me up is my mom would be like. Keegan, we can call the ambulance. And I was like, no, it'd be such a bitch move if I call the fucking ambulance. <laughs> like in my head, I'm like, I'm like, oh, I'd be such a fucking bitch if the fucking ambulance show up and everyone had to see me. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. Uh, and then I kind of just like did that. And then I slept on the bathroom floor because every time I tried to get up, my like whole body would just, just like it. convulse. And I was like, no, I'm going to lay right here exactly like this. And then I slept like that. And then I got really cold, but I didn't. I just kind of had to lay there. And I laid there till like 10 a.m. Did she check in on you or is she just kind of like, nah, he's fine? I mean, like once I like went to sleep, she just kind of just gave off. up. Yeah. But yeah. So yeah, I mean, I, I haven't really gotten the chance to take any uh, Delta 9s. Since my last experience, I was stuck in a Flanagan's 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was there. So why are you I zooming was there. on my crotch? Like, what's funny about that? <laughs> like, what's funny about that? Like, that shit just makes me want to not even talk. Bro, stop. Are you doing <laughs> it to me, too? <laughs> oh. Like, it's kind of interesting. He's never zoomed in on my crotch. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. I thought you just... I thought the... Four inch yeah, well, warrior wasn't was enough for the, for the camera. Delta, for your Delta Nine experience, shit was funny. Yeah, we were in a flant like. <laughs> you were in a. You were at Flanagan's for your friend Jose, right? Yeah, we were at we were at my friend Jose's birthday. In a Flanagan's. Is Jose cool? And I had taken a Delta Nine before. Fuck no, he's not. No, but you know, I took a Delta Nine and I was sitting in there and I was like, on oh, an empty stomach shit. too, right? I'm gonna shit my pants. It felt like I was gonna. It felt like I was gonna shit my pants. Yeah. And you just did not want to get up. No. Because why would I? Because if I got up, I was He was willing to accept yeah. that. Yeah. He was, yeah. Christian. It was either was sitting right next to him too. Christian was just trying to get no, up. No. It was either I get up and I throw up, or yeah. I sit there and shit my pants. You know what was the weirdest part? The guy, the security guy. You were so tired. Put your head down. Put your head up. Did you go, Dylan? Yes, I was there. What are you? <laughs> that was there? He, no. He, Christian he, told me about the story. He listens really well. I'm a good listener. What we lack for him. I don't like for you guys. No, that reminds me about um, when I was going through the shit. I was like, I would be like sitting on the bed. Buddy just hijacked then, your story. That was, that, was the, that, was the, that was the that was the end of the story. No, then there's more to it. Yo, you're such an instigator today, dude. I'm not an instigator. What's going bro? on with you, man? Go ahead, go ahead, Keegan. But yeah, and then like, uh, I'd be sitting, and then I, when I feel like no blood in my arms and legs, I was like, oh, I, I just need to stand. I'll feel better if I stand up. And then I stand up, and I'd be like, and I, I'd be like. <sighs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I need movement. I need blood in my arms. I need blood. I just be doing this, and then my mom would be like, "Hey, what's Keegan doing?" And my friend would just be like, "I don't know." It's kind of like, Whew. it's just so funny that that was a feeling you got. No yeah. blood in your no, arms. I felt and like legs. I was losing. Like I was like, <sighs> what did you and think it was going? I just into my fucking chest. I don't know. And then like when I was like, and then there was like my stroke era where like I was like sitting there, and I like couldn't focus my eyes, and I was kind of just like. Oh, this, I can't. I, I, I don't want like Christian. Christian, don't want to zoom in on this one. But <laughs> yeah, I was just, like my eyes were just like straight. I was like, please look around. I was like, please fucking look around. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> no, you, you didn't like me playing with your hair. I didn't say anything. Why'd you move your hair though? I just want. I like in one cool. spot. Let's go the fuck off, I guess. So you threw up after you ate that delta tonight, right? No, yeah, I puked in the, the park. It was line. so funny. <laughs> he got up and just said. No dice. <laughs> Just threw up. Eighth time I've heard this man say no dice. You said it. You said it. You I just not, stood up. I did not say Christian no said, dice. Christian said, "Let's go. Let's go to the parking lot." You just looked at him and get, did this. No dice. Immediately, <laughs> I just threw up. Yeah, it was, it was thick sh- and disgusting. They, there was, they, I didn't they, drink any water. Like, it did look like someone just poured was, out mud or clay I, on the ground. I think we have a picture of it, right? Water. Oh, it's fucked. Anyway, we, we'll, we have a picture we'll, of it? We'll put the picture up. We'll put the picture Yeah, because Christian's editing this, right? Yeah. Right. And then Christian's going to put a screenshot of the rock. <laughs> the, yeah. the, hmm. yeah. Yeah. No, no, I guess He's going to do it. He's going to do it. I kind of like this Charlie Chaplin era for Christian. He yeah. can kind of just yeah. Okay. <laughs> I know, bro. Because lately, lately, Christian's been getting on my nerves. Really? I don't even want to. I don't. I, I don't even want to talk about it when he's on. I doubt I'm gonna even get the yeah, chance. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, no, no, no. no he didn't mean back, that. He, he didn't mean that. He didn't mean that. He might not. Like, what, what do you mean exactly by that, Jason? Like, do you do you like, still like him just, as a friend? Like, right? Every single thing. Every time he talks, like he's just spewing like black tar. Like, oh no! Oh no! No, no, no. J- Christian, Jason, don't bro, you? His think? Breath stinks too. Right. I mean, that's true. That's a fact. So no, now what uh, that's like, oh, well, ladies and gentlemen, he has just dabbed up Cameron Snyder in the background. He was just stroking Cameron's meat. Yeah, he was <laughs> stroking. Ca- we have to censor that. <laughs> it has to be censored over there. Yeah. <laughs> Who's that? Or uh, fuck. <laughs> Dylan, you got any uh, like funny like uh, high stories? Like you do anything like crazy when you were high? No. Oh, I'm a square. You do anything crazy when you're like drunk or anything? Like any fun? You have any stories at all? Oh. All right, trading. Why would we ask his ass questions? <laughs> hard cut. No hard cut. Then it's you answering the drunk questions. Um, I think I think what made it probably freaked out Keegan the most was the uncertainty of what 800 milligrams. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, like yeah, yeah. if you look at something, if you look at a drug, <laughs> and go, huh, is that a lot or a little? And then you start like getting paranoid. 
instantly you're probably going, like, oh, that was way too much. I'm going to die. I, the thing is, I didn't, I didn't think about that at all. Oh, really? Because, like, everyone I was Maybe with. was, like, some cautious. Because everyone I was with was, like, like, yeah, this is fine. Everything's fine. This will be fine. And we took it. And then, um, then I'm on the phone and my mom's, like, asking me questions about, like, what I took and stuff. And she was just, like, how many milligrams was it? Uh, and she was like, "How much was it?" And I was like, "I was like, I, I, uh, I think it was like 800 milligrams." <laughs> and my mom just goes, "Okay." Uh, <laughs> um, no. I, um, what was your last question you asked, uh, Dylan? No, I was just saying, like, cause like people have been doing this, like, there's this new challenge going around that I think I'm gonna do tonight. It's the Benadryl challenge. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You just take like, I think it's like 800 milligrams of Benadryl. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like 14 <laughs> pills. I don't know how many milligrams 14 is in pills. pills. <laughs> but someone overdosed on 14 pills of Benadryl. So the the task is to do 13. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so one okay. last. Okay. So you really get that fucking feeling. It's supposed to make you like hallucinate. Like I I read this one story. Cameron's already fucking <laughs> bored of it. He's done with it. been like less than a minute. Man isn't even holding up the camera. He's leshing it on his leg. So you know the angle is crooked. Yeah, you know the angle crooked as hell. I love you, Cameron. I love you, Cam. I love you, Cam. Man. Anyways. What do you so zoom? You oh, my zoom God. We, we, put, <laughs> we have two guys who don't know how to run the camera. Figure it out. We got a podcast to record. Yeah. Shh, just be quiet. Whisper. Um. Yeah, my only experience with the with bad drugs... Or like bad experience with drugs was the uh, one time I did um, Delta Nine, and I was in like, Orlando. Or no, 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 that oh, that was okay. fun. It was in my room, and I bought the new Delta Nine gummies, and it was like one of the first times I I took it, and I just remember um, laying in bed, and I was like, okay, okay, and then out of nowhere, my body just like shook like that, and then as soon as my body, because you know you get those late night shakes, yeah. <laughs> my, as soon as my body shook. <laughs> That's when my mind started going really, really dark. That's when I was like, oh, like, like when people like have seizures, they like seize out. I'm like, but what if the like mind is so like, is still conscious in those moments? <laughs> so I just thought of the idea That's of like, the same what if I, I just have, what if I just start seizing, but my brain is still fully aware and I can't do anything to Bro, do with my body. Imagine you have a seizure at, in school. In front of the baddies. <laughs> and you just sit there and see Fuck. 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 <laughs> Fuck, man, dude. Yeah. <laughs> all, the, all the hot baddies that walk the mile. <laughs> You're like, no. Uh, the varsity cheerleading Stop. team. <laughs> the varsity cheerleading team is watching me right now. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so fucking funny. Oh, <laughs> man. <laughs> oh, dude, remember at our high school and so <laughs> The video of someone jumping off the what, third yes, floor? Yes, bro. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if we want to throw it in. Throw it in. <laughs> but yeah, Dude, imagine after we fucking, left. Imagine you do that shit, you jump off. Just baddies. Yeah. Surrounded. No, bro, what's worse is they jumped off. All they did was break both their legs. <laughs> and then they had to come back to school. Yes. <laughs> that, my favorite part, my favorite aspect of that, about that is the idea of like, it was always like a mystery. Like, oh my God, who did it? Who was it? Who was the one that jumped? A month later at school, someone shows up with broken, yeah, yeah, yeah. broken cast off of their legs on a wheelchair. Mystery solved. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, guys, it was, guys, it was not me. Pure coincidence. Pure was coincidence. Like, <laughs> no, guys, I was playing basketball with Shaq, and uh, we were. <laughs> no, I fell down the Grand Canyon. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I and all you did the... was break your legs. I jump off building one. Oh, oh, okay. I'm not building four. <laughs> <laughs> that was some other guy. <laughs> yeah, that guy. That's fucking embarrassing. <laughs> that's that guy. embarrassing for that guy. I was trying to break my legs. I wasn't trying to kill myself. Yeah, I just wanted the attention. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Anyways. All right. So I mean, right, how about you? How about you? How about you guys' weeks? Um, it was good. I I did I did take uh, a Dayquil and a Nyquil at the same time. <laughs> Fuck. Shit is. No, we're becoming drug addicts here, guys. We really, we are. We really are. But in like a non traditional way. <laughs> yeah. but 2023 about to be a movie. No. And it's, it's about to be a TV show. It's called Breaking Bad. It was crazy. For like four hours before I fell asleep, I just like hallucinated a bunch of crazy stuff. Yeah. I would like sit in my bed, and then every hair that was sticking out, a spider, a spider would form. And they would start crawling on me. And then after like two hours, they started to crawl away. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the last time I was high, I, I made a really. Inappropriate and racist jokes. No, oh, yeah, you, okay. So just admit, admit to that. So just admit to that. And I saw what he did. <laughs> for the view, for people that are watching, that is what Cameron wants to do for the next hour. The whole time we're filming that, that's what he has in mind. <laughs> like that. As soon as I heard most racist thing I did, I immediately started focusing back 
<laughs> yeah. It's called the face of racism. Yeah. <laughs> right here. The face of racism. Is racism coming back? Just your face <laughs> on a fucking onion article or something? <laughs> like that dude who's the face of uh, unemployment. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, this shit is so, so fucking funny. funny. All right. I mean, that was my week. Um, Did you say anything? No. <laughs> <laughs> you just said you were racist. I just said I was racist. <laughs> <laughs> I was racist this past week. I'm like, bro, what Anyways, did you say? Um, no, I, bro, my li- my life's boring. Man, we'll just fucking make shit up. Ugh. Um, we can mad lib it. Start a sentence. Start a sentence. Okay, I'll start on math for fucking mad lib week. Mad lib. I never understood mad lib. So, so like, he's gonna give us a sentence, and we're just gonna fill in like a word. Okay. Don't right. ask me what it now. So, is. so on Monday, I was at a children's hospital. Oh, uh-huh. why are you there? Visiting my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I like you to take care of that one. Okay. <laughs> okay. Who works as a child? <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, they're not really, they're not really helping me here, buddy. Uh, um, a child, and there's another word there. There's supposed to be another word there. I'm dating. <laughs> <laughs> that one, that one, okay. There was just a child I'm dating. Okay. Yo, don't say it. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> and then, and then, on her break, her and I uh, kissed <laughs> a lot. I didn't want to say anything else. It would be too gross. And then, I left. I left. And then, and then I went to in a w- cop car. <laughs> And that was my week, guys. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Good Mad Libs. Yeah. Yo, Mad you're on. dating a child? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> bro, what the fuck? Can we just move on past that part, guys? I feel like it's not really even that important. Like, no, she's, bro. You... She's like barely even a child. She's pretty much in her teens now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. The, the oldest she could be is at pretty much in her teens is 11. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. 12. <laughs> Right. right. <laughs> I forgot 12 doesn't Tom have Matt. <laughs> Two teen. She I was thinking of the book 11 teen. <laughs> L, L. Anyway, she's 12 and three quarters. Uh, <laughs> you know I'm dumb. You know I'm dumb. <laughs> Anyways. Um, Anyways. Jason, how about your week? How about your week? Um, My week's mid. Mid. Nice. Good. Mid. Uh, well, I mean, oh, no. We actually have something we can talk about. Do we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, um, we're not talking about it. I have boys recommendation of the week. Never go to a rock concert. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> yeah. In a bar. Never, a never, bar. never go watch Rage Against the Machine at cover a bed. 35 year old girl's bed. birthday party. <laughs> so this week, our friend Jose, same mm-hmm. guy from the uh, birthday. This right? guy always yeah. puts us in the worst situations. <laughs> hey, take the camera off Dylan. Take That's the camera Dylan, off bro. Dylan, bro. Dylan. <laughs> yeah, he is Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> so we went to we went to a bar because he told us a Rage Against the Machine cover band was yeah. uh, there, and it was really funny because as soon as we get there, he goes, "I gotta, I gotta release my little boy PPP." Um, <laughs> and then so he goes to he the said bathroom. what? <laughs> what the fuck did Keegan say? It's like normal. I have to release my little boy PP. That's what I said. Oh. Can we not interrupt stories here? Is he was in a good flow state. I just heard him. I was in a flow state. Oh, okay. And while he goes into the bathroom, I kind of start to look around, right? Yeah. The DJ plan. And I, I'm realizing, like, all of these people are, like, way older than me. Yeah. Like, way older. I'm like, what the fuck? This is a bar. Like, what? what? And then I look at the screens, and it's this picture of this girl. And it just says, everyone celebrate Blank's 35 year old birthday party. And I go, as it like, it's like those in those moments in the movies where the camera like zooms in and out at the same time, and I just go, "Oh no, we're at a birthday party," <laughs> and I had no service, so I could I was texting you, "Abort, abort, abort, <laughs> do not come, do not come," and what'd you say? I'm coming. No, I'm, no, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm so close. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come. Is the is the correct? Yeah, meanwhile, term, I'm man. in the I'm in the fucking bathroom listening to a drug deal behind me <laughs> at the urinal that has no walls. While the guy fucking comes over, he just goes like I don't know if he, he thought what? that. What? I, I don't know. If he <laughs> Whoa! <thought> he, <laughs> I'm like you know I have my little bit pee pee out and I'm peeing. <laughs> And Pro Keegan today, I told you already. He fucking goes with the tape measure, just by himself. No one's looking at him. <laughs> Pulls it out to like four inches. He goes, "Yeah, I'm about four. 
<laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> no, yeah. But. Four with the tab. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> no, but um, yeah. But yeah, I was like listening to a drug deal behind me, and then I walk out, and Christian's like, "Yeah, we're at a fucking birthday party." I was like, "The fuck did Jose and hear then about?" We realized this? that there was like cupcakes and a big ass happy birthday sign that we walked. Yeah. Past. We walked. I walked past, and I was like, "Ooh, they have hors d'oeuvres." Then I went to the bathroom. <laughs> hors d'oeuvres <laughs> at there. At a fucking dive bar. At the dive bar. No, um, dude, I was I was close to le- me me and Jose because we came later. We were close to leaving because we walk in. I show my ID. Jose pulls out his wallet. I don't know what my ID is. <laughs> he says he doesn't know. Oh, oh that's, that's a, a timer. timer. Okay. Oh, who you want out? Who okay, you want out, Dylan? What? Well, wait, is Cameron staying? All right, is Cameron? Cameron, do you want? Are you coming on the pod, Cameron? All right, so who are you replacing? Could be anyone. Could be legitimately me again if you don't want me. No one can hear you. You can take me out. Okay. Um, now we're back with. What's he got to say? Put your leg down. Oh, you want to show my crotch? What's he got to say? Let me. Can you hold this for me? I gotta make sure I'm ready to for my crotch. To, for my crotch to be shown. Nah, not today. Not today. <laughs> He recycled that bit yesterday. Today. <laughs> That's from workaholics. Yeah, he recycled that bit from yesterday. That's from workaholics. But um, <laughs> but um, yeah, and um, so so Jose's uh, he didn't have his yeah. ID with him. He fucking pulls out his wallet, empty as fuck with two dollars in it. <laughs> And I'm like, yo, that's what you're embarrassing, fuck? right, dude? Yeah, that's pretty embarrassing. I'm like, yo, what? Why do you just not have your ID? Bro goes, I don't know where it's at. I'm like, is it in your car? He's like, I don't know. You want to know? Wait, let me. I'm like, I'm like, what the fuck? And we start walking away. Dude reaches into his pocket and it's just in there. It's in there? It's just in his pocket. Okay, okay. I'm like, bro, what? Don't the fuck? show that. Don't show that. Damn, he sent you a big ass text. What was that big text? But make sure you have your ID is what he <laughs> sent me. He sent me in text form. Make sure you have your ID. Let me see something there. I was, was going to screenshot uh, that. What is this? Oh, you don't want to read that. Why? Is it about me? <laughs> <laughs> he sent me uh, Mel Gibson calling his wife. Uh, don't. Beep. Uh, yeah. He sent him. And then just. <laughs> anyways, anyways. So then, so you guys get in eventually. Right? What was your experience walking in? It was normal. I was just walked in. I was like. It's just pretty empty. Um, must not be like that time. And then I looked at the clock and it was fucking midnight. <laughs> I was yeah. like, yo, what the fuck? Where are the baddies? Where's the, where's the sluts at? Ooh. None. No sluts. The MILFs though. No. MILFs through the room. No. They're like two. Maybe for you, man. There's like probably like 35 MILFs there. What constitutes a MILF? Or there were like mom. But like. like but there's wanna, like three other words. In I, there. I feel like Jason wants to like fuck. Anything with boobs. Then you got some two nice ones right here. <laughs> you fucking slut. I know. What the you, fuck do you want me to say? You have, been, you have been more attracted to me recently. The more I gain weight. Yeah, dude. And everyone thinks I'm a, I'm like gay and in love with you. I gotta stop. <laughs> I gotta hide my feelings more. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, what do you think of it, Dylan? I know you're close friends with Jose, and he kind of relates. He relays his thoughts and opinions to he you did, every he told night. Me we, we, um, we shared. Similar interests when it comes to all that music and shit. So um, he was telling me he thought it was a good idea to show you guys. I mean, he did tell me that you told them that it was oh. nice. You branched. <laughs> and and I know we're no video right now, ladies and gents. Can we take a guess why we're on no video right now? All right, we'll get option A. Option A, the world ended and only me and Jason are surviving right now. Uh, Op- I would like that. <laughs> option B. Um, Keegan went to go have sex with his mom, oh, and we can't show cool. that on camera because he's he's doing like a real POV style right now, so we can't show that. That was pretty cool. Option C, uh, classic Keegan malfunction. <laughs> 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 a classic Keegan it's malfunction. Just, it's just funny because it could happen when you held the camera, when Cameron held the camera, when Jose held the camera. When that motherfucker held the camera. When I sued as he grabbed that shit. <laughs> please, please, please. <laughs> <laughs> but he was telling me yeah. you had you enjoyed it in, in the terms of it branching out. Yeah, I did. Branch. I Stop did. I, I'm literally my life like this. Touch bro. my life. Um, m- I did enjoy it because <laughs> because you just um, forget which one's yours. Yeah, <laughs> 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 that's good. Um, I did enjoy it for the fact of like we tried something new. 
You know, it was new. I've never had my ears bleed before. Yeah, we. I go in there and I'm like, yo, this music, it's fine. This music is manageable because I have pretty sensitive ears. I'm a pussy like that. He's a bitch boy. Um, and the I'm, looks deceiving. He's a big old bitch boy. Is what he is. Yeah. Got any more? Got any got more? Some today. I know, but it's like shit's just not funny. <laughs> I continue But no like we walk in And I'm like yo The music is loud But it's not that loud yeah. so I, I can handle it But then, I, I want to establish Jason's then, the type of guy To wear earplugs At like a, a, yeah. a music festival We went to Rolling Loud And I wore earplugs Yeah Because it was, shit was too loud Yeah And we were like Like in Way the back. in the back As far back yeah. as you could Yeah but he's gonna need To wear those earplugs um, So we go in there And they're setting up the band And like As soon as they start Playing that shit I'm like yeah this is actually doing permanent damage to my eardrums. It's I bad. Felt it. I felt it. Too. I was listening to music today with my ed- my headphones in. I'm like, yo, I don't know what it is. Shit just doesn't sound the same. <laughs> really? I'm you like, too? Fuck, it's bad. Damn, that's wild. Uh, I had like the opposite effect. I, I, I like during it, I was kind of like, I've always been like my ear. I always listen to my music too loud. Yeah. And when I was in the concert, I was like, I don't listen to it loud enough because it doesn't feel this bad. It, I know. it hurt. It hurt. And that makes me want to not go on a road trip with you again. Cause you play your shit so loud, yeah, for no reason. Yeah, because it's a podcast. (laughs) 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 That is very funny. That is very funny. We we had a a nice long conversation because Jason hates when I play my music because I play it too loud, right? Um, That's to keep me awake and not uh, swerve off the road falling asleep. Um, Which is not does honestly does not help. Loud stuff does not really do the matter much. You should listen to podcast, man. Make it. You gotta have a cold AC blare. I do also have cold AC blaring. And I drink water as well. <laughs> I do cold AC water and music. I'm a shut very your cracker sleepy ass, guy. Shut your bumpkin ass I'm up, I'm a very dude. sleepy guy. You chug monster like it's water. Yeah, dude. that's too. I also do monster. I do water and monster. Um, anyways, um, yeah, it was just funny because at one point I was just kind of done with the conversation and I really wanted to listen to this podcast. <laughs> so I said, Jason, put in your earplugs. I'm just going to listen to this shit. And my earplugs <laughs> don't drown shit out. I have to play that shit max volume and that shit hurts. <laughs> Because so it does, fuck, it does fuck So all. what Tyler the Creator meant here when he oh, was yeah, bro. <laughs> It was a boring ass thing I gotta It was a musical breakdown fucking... Dissect the podcast That's Yeah what it was. bro I get to listen to the same song for 40 fucking minutes <laughs> Cause this motherfucker wants to listen to that shit And he's just He's not even comprehending it This guy said This guy The guy who made the react Like the, the breakdown uh-huh. His vocabulary was fucking Way out of yes, your league Yes he is And I use context clues Bro, you can't understand his context clues. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there are moments where I pretend to be smarter than I am, and I go, oh. I, I would have to listen to Christian stop it. Because had to stop this fucking breakdown every two minutes and say, hey, Siri, <laughs> what does this mean? I'm like, dude, what the fuck? And his Siri is louder than the fucking yeah, podcast. It is true. It is true. <laughs> and you're gay. I know you're gay because you have the man Siri. <laughs> I, this is why this this is like why I became friends with you, man. Because uh, I was it was just the one day in Miss Johnson's class where I was like, this motherfucker can lie out of his ass like it's nothing. Like like he can just spit it out so fast and so funny. And I I'm love not it. even lying. You are like, <laughs> hey Siri. Yeah, cause I just changed it. Hey Siri. It's not even responding. What's my name? It's not even. Christian Alfonso. <laughs> hey Siri, what's my name? You're Christian. That's what you told me anyway. So yeah. Yeah, he's just changing because I made fun of him. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You you were you just Oh, oh you flinched, he flinched. <laughs> <laughs> anyways. Yeah, bro, that's what your fucking flinches do to me. Anyways, no, but it was it was fun to go to the rock concert, I think. Oh no! Oh wait, yeah, that's probably just. And Jose loves to fucking just put his feet anywhere he fucking pleases. Dude, deadass kicked Dylan, it. Dude. Like when when Keegan, Keegan was choking him out earlier, he kicked the shit out of the laptop. I'm, I didn't want to. I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> it's just he, fucking cracked. <laughs> <laughs> like Keegan had no idea, but Jose kicked the shit out of it like three times. <laughs> Anyways, um, so I mean, as far as pod topics go, Keegan was the one carrying it. So thank yeah. you a lot, Dylan, for doing that. No, the concert. The, I, I will say this about the concert. She was it, I, honestly. I thought it was booty. It was. It was the mixing. It was the mixing. It was the mixing that made. Dylan. It. I mean, Jose. Jose related to me that it was the mixing, dude, and that shit sounded. Yeah, the mixing was bad. I'm sitting there thinking like, yo, I. And it took an hour to shit. set up too. Yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> it, took it took so, so long, long to, to set, set up. up. This isn't even part of the bit anymore. <laughs> it took so long to set up. See, now, Jose's in a band. His shit does not take that long. No bragging rights, but that shit took too long. I was just thinking, like, yo, I am glad Rock is dying. I'll agree with you on that. If it's like that, yeah. I mean, Dylan will uh, agree with you. Oh, if Rock is going, like, in that direction. Yeah, okay. just taking hours to set up. Just just for it to sound bad. <laughs> just for it to sound bad. Right from the moment he started singing feedback <laughs> just awful man. just feed feedback and uh, my, my favorite my, my favorite thing that you pointed out that i i i, I clocked <laughs> immediately i clocked it immediately and i was like this is so funny the bassist mic was better than the perfect <laughs> crystal mic. clear you can hear everything the bassist was saying not the singer dude not at all um but yeah i mean other than that my life's pretty Could fucking you believe boring. that they held like bigger shows somewhere else they have yeah they have Oh wow! Right, damn, that's wild. Good for them, but God, they gotta straighten up. Yeah, fix it. They gotta treat every show like a good show, you know. Yeah, you would know, Dylan. <laughs> Can I bring up my Sydney Sweeney bit? What's your Sydney Sweeney bit? You think she'd be as big as she um. she was if she wasn't nude? I guess we're cutting that. Right? Fine, it's cool. It's cool. It's just Cut that. oh, because I it's said just, some. I feel like like we, I've been called misogynistic in the past, so. You know, oh I feel, yeah, I feel like maybe <laughs> I, I should have hopped out of this Actually, one. Actually, I could loop back to that. Um, Taylor Swift taking on Ticketmaster. Yes, what do we I, think about that? My, my take on it is, um, it's all thanks to us. Like, if the Swifties didn't want to prove us wrong so hard, then um, it wouldn't have sold as hard. That's my opinion. Dude, that means you're replacing someone. No, no, we were just we were just getting somewhere. I brought this up. I'm, I'm so happy. You know, you know how much I sacrificed. Bro, has brought up nothing. Um, but that's my take on the that. Taylor card Swift might also situation. fill. I don't know. I didn't. You said the Taylor Swift I situation, play. huh? You said the Taylor Swift situation. Yeah. You like to shut shit down before I can even talk about it. Like you always do that with topics. No, I said I said that's my take on it. I know, but like, so what's you, your take? I'm on just it? saying. Usually, you shut that shit down. Okay, so what's your take on it? Because you just don't like me anymore. I think. I think you're done with me. <laughs> What's your take on the Taylor Swift situation? I saw a tweet where it was, I, or it was like a screenshot. And it was like, their her tickets are going for ninety three thousand yeah. dollars. Mm-hmm. I'm like, what the fuck? There is no like. Good thing you're not offering any girls Taylor Swift uh, concert I tickets. Know, you I only know. do Harry Styles. <laughs> Harry Styles, that's like like five hundred, six hundred. That's easy. <laughs> easy money. But it, but if someone said to me, "Yo, can you buy me this Taylor Swift ticket?" Ninety five thousand dollars. That's a fuck ton of money. I, gotta my, I have to make my parents homeless. I have um, to make all not drive cars. Um, got, yeah, I mean, let me just take out a loan real quick. I guess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got, I got good enough. I totally have good enough credit for that. If, if like, my I, if fucking like I, identity's <laughs> stolen right now, by the way. Really? Yeah. What happened? Wait, 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 wait. Well, we ask, what's, how has your week been? We expect this shit to come out. Yeah, but it's, this is like been longer than it's, a week. Uh, well, no, I mean, let's, let's talk your about week Taylor is Swift technically their week too. Oh, true. I don't know what that means. Because you're oh yeah, because there's two Jason yeah, Workmans. Right about. Well, no, let's keep talking about Taylor Swift. Because <laughs> okay. it was a lie, probably. Because I was like, <laughs> it wasn't. Wait, tell me the story. No, then. I was like, bro, no fucking way. Her music is good enough to pay that much money to go see. I feel like it's because it's all of her old shit too. Yeah, it's called the Eras Tour. So I'm like, oh, she's probably, that's true. She's that's probably true. gonna just play for like everything. Yeah. I and the thing is, I am a Taylor Swift fan. I like Taylor Swift. So you'd pay like. I would pay. I'd probably pay. Five hundred dollars, maybe, if it's a nice venue. You are a yeah. millionaire, and you didn't get chances to get the tickets, and you see that ticket pop up. I know someone who paid seven hundred and fifty dollars for Section One Hundred, not even the floor, not even the floor, and that was in presale. Damn. So I'm saying, if you're a millionaire, would you pay it? If I'm a million, yeah, bro. If I got money out the wise, exactly. if you're, if you're a millionaire, you want to spend a tenth of your wealth? How much? How many millions? I guess that's the real question. Cause if you're, like, you can be, you can have two million dollars and be a millionaire. You spend fucking a hundred k to go see Taylor Swift. That is like five percent of all of your money. I know, but he said he's a big fan. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> I'm a big enough fan. I'm a big enough fan to the point where if I ha- if I won the lottery, I'm look, bro. Too. All I'm saying is if Blue Live was fifty thousand dollars for a ticket, <laughs> catch me with all my friends. What the <laughs> fuck is Blue Live? Blue Blue Lives Matter. What the fuck are you talking about, dude? No, not the mic. I don't don't get don't look at the mic. I thought the mic is on. Still clean. Still clean. <laughs> Shut the still fuck clean. up. 
<laughs> no, no, no. Scrap that podcast. That episode. shit was cyan. That shit was cyan when he put it on. Now it's so fucking deep blue. Look who fucking expands it as a vocabulary. <laughs> oh, it was cyan. Fucking weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, dude. <laughs> Someone making Duolingo English. <laughs> <laughs> I grow tired of this conversation. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, okay. do you want to talk about your identity? We will relinquish it? this task. Um, fuck you, <laughs> cuck. <laughs> it was just twelve turns. Anyways, <laughs> what do you mean no, your yeah, identity I would, got stolen? I would buy every. No, what do you mean your identity got stolen? If I was a millionaire, what do you mean your identity got stolen? Oh, basically, I've just been getting a lot of letters that are like about um, retirement plans in the mail. And I'm like, mm, interesting, because that doesn't happen to anybody else I know. <laughs> um, and then I checked uh, free credit, freecreditreport.com, and I saw where my credit card, or like all my, where like where my shit's being used. Um, and I also could not file taxes last year, because it said that it said that shit was already done, and I did not do it. And I was doing it with my mom, so I know she didn't do it for me. So yeah, I don't know. Like nothing bad has happened. <laughs> Wait, so you haven't acted on it? No. <laughs> oh, the thing is, it's like, what the fuck do I do? I can't like, just call the cops. Yeah, you can't just be like, give it back. I have to, like, <laughs> give me call a bank. my bank and shit. That's what I'm saying. And but I don't want to do that. <laughs> so my credit score's never been better. <laughs> so why the fuck would I want to change that shit? I was just paying it off. I was yeah. paying it off. Yeah, I was, yeah I was bro just like, bought a boat in cash. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking to my coworker. I was like, like, what if they're just like doing good stuff? Like, what if they're like just treating it like like a responsible adult, but it's just my stuff? Mm-hmm. Like, do, should I stop them? No, I mean, right? No, no. I mean, build credit, yeah. buddy. Yeah, yeah, build your credit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good for you, man. Yeah. I'm proud of you. That's what yeah. I was thinking. So Philip like, has the infinite money glitch. You have the infinite credit glitch. Yeah. yeah. So, like, with his <laughs> infinite money, you get, like XP. Yeah. <laughs> he maxed out like he maxed out wealth. So you're maxing out like charisma. You it's know? like a god combo. Right there. <laughs> yeah. Like if him and I, him and I together, it's fucking crazy. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah. Can you hear topics? There's one that was a spoiler. We weren't even allowed to look at. Yeah, we talked about it, so you already know what it is. But have you heard about the baby situation? They was, yeah, they was giving out free tickets. <laughs> yeah, so if anyone doesn't know, essentially about a month ago, DaBaby had a uh, concert in Birmingham, Alabama, which is mm-hmm. really funny because Christian thought it was... I immediately thought it was... Because I, I was like, Christian, we should go for a video idea. And he goes, bro, I'm not going to go all the way to England for DaBaby. Fucking Birmingham <laughs> Palace? What the fuck are yeah, you I was like, about? what? <laughs> Birmingham, I was like, oh. I'm pretty sure Birmingham's a place in England. It Bem- is. It's, it's Birmingham. Birmingham. Yeah. Birmingham. Anyway, uh, who's selling buy one get one tickets <laughs> for this fucking concert? That shit is so funny. And the ticket price was twenty two dollars. <laughs> Bro, first time I've ever heard anyone do a bogo fucking. First time I've ever heard fuck. First time I've ever heard of a fucking bogo concert. Yeah. <laughs> so everyone kind of thought that was like, oh damn, the movie kind of cringe for that one. That's crazy. Uh, but then recently he was spotted, and I'll pull up the video now. He was spotted inside of a cheesecake factory. Keegan's hometown, yep. which is uh, conveniently enough, you know, town. where I work for <laughs> now. I said hometown. Uh, my hometown, yeah. Uh, he's yeah, in my home home court. Um, oh no, wait, that wasn't actually the spoiler one. But we can. Oh, I'll pull up that video. Anyway. <laughs> I forgot what the spoiler was. That's a video of the week thing. Okay. okay. Uh, but so the baby, the baby would. Let's yeah. go, by the way. It's one of my favorite things he's ever done on the video. Which one? When you go, the baby with it. Let's go. <laughs> oh, on the, the boxing one? <laughs> yeah. It's one of my favorite things you've done on, <laughs> on video. Yeah, it was just a, a random clip. Why is he here? <laughs> Not here. Why is he here again? As in, like, oh, yeah, he, he had been ca- there before and then came back and they're like, why is he here again? What did he say? <laughs> yeah, why is he here again? <laughs> so our yeah. poor, our poor guy, the baby, was trying to just get tickets to his concert, just out. Well, let's be, let's be, let's be real. He, he is a murderer. Yes. Yeah. He murdered That's somebody. Accurate. That is true. Did he beat the case? I guess. Did he? I, don't I know. mean, he's not arrested, so yeah. But yeah, then I was just thinking about like what, it, like what would you do if the baby showed up at your job, and he was just handing out tickets? If the baby showed up at my job. It would just make me think of like, because recently we had a taxi driver come into my place, and he gave us his business cards, like a stack of them. And I'm thinking, what if fucking the baby came in and gave me a stack of his concert tickets? Like, 
Now would y'all go? I immediately. One hundred percent, I'd go. Yeah. Without a question, I'd go to a baby concert. Mm-hmm. I probably wouldn't. Really? You wouldn't want to go check it out. Like I want to be like like that video of Smoke Perp's concert. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Smoke Perp and like three dudes in front. <laughs> He's like, bro, Smoke Perp fell off. <laughs> it just does like. A- I'd be one of the baby's three dudes. That's what I, that's what I would do. Um, honestly, if. I don't want to brag. You don't want to dox where we work, but if the baby's at our place of work, he's doing pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> true. Yeah, the baby, yeah. baby at my place of work, he like middle class. <laughs> middle, class middle class, but if he's doing, is that our place? I mean, not too shabby for yeah. the baby, but also not his crowd. So, very not his crowd, <laughs> dude. That'd be fucking crazy. All the fucking elderly people calling nine one one because there's this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, go ahead, say it, say it like it is, because there's a black man. Yeah. Fuck you, dude. You racist fuck. Your your parents would be those old people. <laughs> I'm not even. I'm not even. I can't even correct you. Like I wish I could. <laughs> <laughs> like I wish I could, but fuck. You're right. Oh, man. Did we start a timer? For one? I don't. Uh, I, yeah, I don't know. It's time to see. Oh. <laughs> Has it really been ten minutes? Oh, oh it's a timer. Whoa. It's not the hinge. Oh. I feel like it hasn't been 10 minutes and you just want to get back in. <laughs> um, anyways, um, so yeah. I try to think. Because, um, yeah, I was just thinking about, like, if I was at work and the baby showed up. I just, I don't. Like, the most famous person that ever showed up at my job was Michael Buble. Uh, he pulled up, he sat Bubbly. on the patio. Um, was Bubbly. Pretty rude. Tipped like Cameron and uh, left. <laughs> Tipped like. <laughs> Tipped like what? He tipped like Cameron. Uh, uh, <laughs> they, you know, <laughs> you gotta get that. You gotta get, bro, reaction shot, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this lady, uh, it's for context, the lady gave us the best service of our fucking lives at Duffy's. And she was beautiful. And she was beautiful, and her name was Jessica. And she was, she's beautiful like my mom's beautiful, you know? And, um, yeah, and then we all like tip her very well. And we look over at Cameron's check, and he, what was it, 12, 12%? <laughs> yeah. That's a lot good, man. 15. He said 15. He said 15. He corrected us. It's 15. 15. 15. The thing is, like, I think about it, like, I know those serve. Like, I think, like, I don't need to tip because the person either before me or behind me is going to tip better. <laughs> That's the worst shit. Like, like, ima- like, imagine, like, your server got, like, I think of it like, okay, like, at least someone's got to tip him, like, $20. Let's just say... I don't have to tip now because they tipped extra. I get a, they I they got, tipped for me. They yeah. passed the yeah. I've got a genius prank idea for you, buddy. Yeah, yeah. what's up? So here's what, I, here's what I want you to do. I want you to go to a restaurant, and when they ask how many, I want you to say 15. <laughs> say 15 <laughs> people. They're all on their way. They'll be here in like 30. And then you wait for them to set up the whole table, right? And then you sit down. Like, I'll get some appetizers going. Just get, make sure everyone gets a water, and you order an appetizer, right? And when they leave, you leave. <laughs> <laughs> and you just yeah, no, I mean, isn't that fun? That's a funny ass fucking bit. <laughs> funny ass prank. But you wouldn't want to do that shit with me. Well, like I said, it'd be alone. But best cameraman ever stands in our light. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in front of the fucking light. No, but um, yeah, me and Keegan had to like order a table for fifteen, and we just thought it'd be really funny if we did that. Yeah. We're like, <laughs> oh, no, no, I, I promise. I promise. They're on their way. On the way. Uh, can we actually just get like two appetizers real quick? Thank you. Go back inside. You know, we, we could talk about something, but I did tell you I didn't want to talk yeah, about it. Yeah, you didn't really want to talk about it. But I, I think, I I think, think it's, it's, a, it's a good enough story where it was just like, we can talk about the logic of it, I think. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll put logic? A, we'll like we'll logic. put a precursor above it. We understand that this will not be two in a row, like two in-person podcasts in a row that we discuss something like this. And um, we're not insensitive towards it, all right? We feel bad. We feel bad yeah. for this for this the situation, this situation is in. and everything, but poor people and homeless people. Yeah, yeah. another run in uh, with them. Uh, oh wow! Okay. <laughs> 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 can't live with them. Can't. <laughs> What's that mean? Could live without them. You know what I mean? <laughs> but no. So um, picture this, right? We're in Publix. This is so funny. We're Picturing in Publix. Up. Best place on the planet. In Publix, not only just that, at the lunchable section, oh, okay. you know, we're we're looking at the wall, yep. we're, we're feeling a little the snack vibe before our meal. Yeah, yep. and uh, this lady comes up to us, baby strapped to her chest, and she's like, "Hi, excuse me, excuse me." And it's clear, like, I don't think it language is like English is her first language, and 
uh, I think she comes up to us at first. I think because I'm kind of dressed up for this dinner. That's how I was dressed last night. I think she thinks I'm like a manager. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. And she's like, hi, like, I need help. I need help. And we're like, oh, a timer went off. Oh. 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 All right, Jose, who's out? Who's out? Don't kick him out. He's in the middle of it. He's out. And he loves bashing on the homeless, too. I know. <laughs> I had so much good shit to say, too. His ass is about to say nothing. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's a... Uh, so this lady has the baby strapped to her chest. She comes up to us, and she's like, I-, I need help. I need help. And we're like, hey, like, yeah, what's going I on? I have a problem. I have a problem. Yeah. <laughs> what does she ask us to do? She goes, can you pay for my food? And we're like... <laughs> fucking serious? We're like... We're like... What? What was that? And she goes. This happened I yesterday. Need, yes. Yes. Sir. yes sir. I need. Can you please pay for my food? And then we look <laughs> over at her cart, filled, <laughs> easily two hundred dollars worth of food, filled <laughs> like to Easy. the top. And we're like, I'm like, um, I'm sorry, I don't have any cash. I would give you some cash to, to oh, yeah. help you yeah. out. And she goes, No, 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 pay, pay for. Like she like, didn't even want the fucking pity tip. <laughs> she wants the all or nothing. The whole shebang is what she wanted, and um, we were like, we're just like no, "I'm sorry, no, 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 we're not doing that for you." <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, stupid motherfucker. Okay, did you start a timer? Okay, I'm cool. Just and then like, and then almost like she's in The Sims. We stop talking to her. She kind of just glazes over, turns around, goes to the next person. The next Hi, person can you please pay? Way. Can you please pay for my food? She just has a cart full of food. Full. Yeah. Like I could understand if someone walked. Was it like, like perishables or stuff, or was it like stuff she could last? Like like a baguette. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> specialized food. Yeah, it was it was like wild. We were like, what the fuck? And we were just kind of like, I saw her like start to talk to another person, and I was like, hey, can we go? Because I don't even want to be like around this yeah. situation. This is awkward. I don't want to see this other lady say no. <laughs> um. So we leave, and then obviously we get Keegan snacks, which. We all know what it is. Cheese it's and goldfish. Gold um, and so then we um, we we immediately start like we, joking yeah. about like, damn, the recession is real. Recession I going guess. crazy right now. <laughs> the recession is real, I guess. Um, and then so we go in line, and none of the lines are open, but we just happen to choose this one. And when we get there, there's like this this lady in front of us, and she has water bottles, right? And she's just kind of standing there, and it seems like the cash register is up. She goes, oh, no, you can go ahead of me. I'm counting my quarters. Bro, on, like, on the, like, revolt. On the con- like, conveyor belt. Conveyor belt, bro. She just has a bunch of coins laid out, and she's counting it to get the amount for the that she needs for water. But the coins keep moving. So, <laughs> so that she has to keep moving so them back. She has to keep, like, like, scraping them back and keep counting over and over and over again. And we were like, damn. That's that shit's crazy. real. Yeah, that shit's real. And then yet again, we were like, inflation's wild. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but again, we're not making fun of the situation. It was just crazy that not only did, like, I'm, I, you think these people were, like, inflation. in a sense, somehow related to one another? Not like, <laughs> like, tag team it. Like, yeah. Like, 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 they were, like, <laughs> they are trying to, you know, go hustle go people way. out of food, I guess, or? I could see that. I can see that. I, that that whole public, I can see it being like a Ponzi scheme. <laughs> <laughs> that whole the whole public is in on it. No, but yeah, that was our run-ins. It, it was just crazy that like it was back to back. That's kind of what yeah. made me feel like wow. It was just like yeah, back to back. That's it. Yeah. yeah. That's did crazy. you guys hear about the um, great segue by the way? Uh, did you guys hear about the VR headset that got recently developed? Yes. Did you hear about this? I did not hear. So about the creator, story. I think it was the creator of Oculus. Made Mr. A, Oculus. Yeah, Mr. Mr. James Oculus uh, created a new VR headset that would kill you in real life if you died in a game. And it has like these it, it's a fucking it's a crazy looking contraption. <laughs> you gotta show me this shit. Because it has these like fucking probes on the end of it that like I just I assume would just fucking go into your skull when you die. Um Crazy how we figured that science out first before we figure out like VR sex, having sex in real life feelings, you know? Bro, we sent some man to the moon. Why can't we just, like, <laughs> do some crazy-ass shit, you know? America this, America that. Bro, give me so- – we made someone go to the moon. Give me something wild. Give me a jetpack. Bro, why can't we make superheroes? Actual tangent. We sent someone to the moon. We can't make someone fly? <laughs> like, I, what the fuck? I found an NBC article. It is exactly 
two it's like four sentences long no it's, it is three sentences long the entire article palmer lucky the creator of oculus rift says he has a vr headset that will Who's kill palmer the, lucky the the creator mr just, so mr james oculus okay. the creator <laughs> okay. of oculus palmer rift. lucky is his, his um his yeah. um stage no, no, name okay. yeah yeah it's his rap name it's his okay, rap okay, name okay, yeah. uh right. says he has a vr headset that will kill the user in real life if they die in a video game the headset is rigged with explosive charge <laughs> modules aimed at the user's head. If they were to die in the game, the charge would go off, exploding their brain, according to Vice. End of article. <laughs> what the fuck? Show me a picture. Show me yeah. a picture. With Let me find this fucking photo. Put the picture in. No, we'll put the picture up. Right now. Gone. Look at that shit. <laughs> Look at that shit, bro. That kills so you. that shit will just fucking... <gasps> Basically, just shoot your you in the head. I would eat that. And my thing is, like, I feel like no one would get it, but then there's like extreme gamers. Like, I feel like Cameron would be up for the challenge. Like, bro, Minecraft like, Cameron, hardcore mode quick, would go quick, real insane. Quick. Real quick, real quick, real quick. Come here, come here, come here. So, Cameron, Twitch legend in the actual building. Brick right? in the actual brick. So, my, my question to you is, like, you you play the VR game, right? But like, obviously, the, the option is death. But if you beat it, <laughs> like. Like millions of dollars, like you, like are set. You're known as the gamer. Oh, it yeah, depends. Yeah. Like, like it's like, what kind of game is it? Like, is it something I think I see? Can I think win? it's convenient. I think it's convenient that the game came Terraria. out. Terraria. <laughs> 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 see, I think it's convenient. <laughs> 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 I think it's convenient that the game came out. Or the the headset claims came out. Around the same time that Among Us VR came out, <laughs> <laughs> little boy, little kids accidentally buy the wrong one. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine just fucking killing a kid and then just hearing. Yeah. Honey, honey, I know that we're in the recession, obviously, uh, but <laughs> we've really worked hard to get you a, a Christmas present this year. Merry Christmas. Oh my god, you got me the new Oculus! Oh my god, I want to set it up right now! So, yeah, honey. Uh, we also got it preloaded with Among Us VR. No way! This is the fucking best Christmas ever! Everyone's right. watching her play. Yo, I'm going to do, I'm going to do electrical, I'm doing electrical! Oh! Um, look how much, look how fast they grow. I know, they grow up <laughs> yeah, so they, fast. They, honey? Oh my god, uh, what do you see, what, honey? Oh my what do you god. see? I just saw red vent! I saw red vent! I gotta get the car! 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 Honey? <laughs> Honey, James, go check on him. <laughs> go check on him. You made yourself the woman in the situation. <laughs> you could have made yourself. Go the check on our kid. Our kid you is on the floor. You go made yourself check on our kid. <laughs> Voluntarily made himself the woman. Um. What's wrong? <laughs> How do you What's wrong? The fucking hiccups, man. Yeah, I. Yeah, she's dead as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I bought the I bought that version. Yeah. It was cheaper. The recession and all. Yeah. Well, you know, one less mouth to feed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I also think it's funny the idea. One less like, mouth to feed. Yeah, one less mouth to feed. <laughs> 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 Fucking emergency <laughs> meeting starts. The parents are like, "Is he okay?" You can hear in the headset, like, <laughs> like. Damn, fucking blue guy. Fucking <laughs> blue is so L. <laughs> blue is so L for that. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Cooper is there. Poor. Poor. See, like you say, like like I, I, I'll be honest. I hate the fact that it's like an internal brain explosion. When I read that shit, it, I, I expected like <laughs> death and then fucking head explosion. <laughs> that was a bit. It's, when, I heard, when I heard you, when I heard you telling like, me, I like, thought explosion. Like, like the boys. Like, yo, like the yeah. boys. Like I'm head thinking popper, brainer, boys. like <laughs> <laughs> coding everybody. <laughs> shit, that shit would be sick. That shit's yeah. lame as hell. Just imagine like, a like, cow imagine like Candy Crush on that shit. You don't die again. <laughs> but, die. You know? Oh, I mean, you run out of you hearts. Could, you could lose. You run though. out of hearts. Yeah. You run out of hearts for sure, for real. Like, um, imagine like cut the rope. <laughs> just <miss. laughs> the first level. <laughs> yeah. You missed the. You missed the candy. The no. <laughs> <laughs> cut the rope. Cut the fucking the rope. Fuck, man. <laughs> oh man. What would be the worst game to die to? Like what's the worst game? <laughs> Warzone, because then you got some guy in the end like Philip that's like fucking loser. <laughs> 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 oh man, what's the worst game that died too? Bro, why can't we make superheroes? I wanted to go back to that honestly. Doctor Doze. 
Dr. Dose. Dr. Dose. They just keep getting every question wrong. And just like, she's not getting naked. I'm about to fucking die. <laughs> this is, this is, <laughs> take your boobs out, please. Imagine, like, I didn't even get to see her naked and I'm going to die. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I'm sitting here, lotion on my dick, <laughs> about to die. Because <laughs> I didn't know what yeah, it's, AU it's like, meant. It's like, once you start the game, you can't fucking take that shit off. Yeah. Oh, man. But yeah, that shit crazy. It crazy. is very crazy. Oh, man. Why I mean, can't we make superheroes? Huh? Why can't we make superheroes? Why y'all dodging my questions, bro? Oh, wait, that was, that was a question? Why can't oh, we make superheroes? Oh, it's time. So you asked the question. Um, who are you kicking out, Jason? Jose. <laughs> well, who's Jose? Dylan. <laughs> I have a grudge. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think I didn't pick him? <laughs> no, let's, let's start off with that question. Stupid ass fucking question. Why can't we make superheroes? What's going on? I'm just looking at your phone notifications. <laughs> Look at my phone notification. He's giving us this angle. I know. And you know what? I get to look at you guys, and this is what the fuck they see the whole time. <laughs> my fucking, the back of my head. <laughs> oh, man. But if, what if we're listening to Keegan? This is what they see. <laughs> <laughs> um, we can't make superheroes because um, OnlyFans would be unbalanced. Only fans? Yeah, who the fuck's gonna pay for a fucking normal humans only fans? That is true. When you could just buy a fucking superheroes only fans. That is true. See some love like laser some pussy. Yeah. That's a good ass like reason why. My reason would be just because of everything I would do with superpowers. What would you do with superpowers? You don't want to know. Okay, well. Ever heard of Black Adam? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So guys on Black Panther just came out. Yeah. What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts? I haven't seen it. They need to cast me. As the Black Panther, bro. Did you watch it? Yeah. I could have done that shit so much better. What happens in it? They, um, there's this guy who comes out of the water. Uh huh. He just swam to Wakanda. And he just so happens to be Latino. Woo! He's wet. Every part of his body. <laughs> Apparently, I, I saw behind the scenes. Well, like, so let's go to the body parts. Head. Yeah. Right. Wet. Hands, arms. Wet. Wet. Yeah. Chest. Wet. Yeah. Legs. Wet. I'm, I'm like doing like a. Yeah. Feet. Head, like calves. Shoulders. Wet. All of it wet. Butts. Wet. And then like the back. And then like. Wet. <laughs> yeah. And then like the. <laughs> So worried, <laughs> and then like the neck. Yeah. Well, he just crawled out of the water because he's yeah. um a water guy. What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to the top ten cod, uh, <laughs> pod bits that we cut. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I I did not see it. Oh. I'm waiting for it to come out on Disney Plus. Okay, so you have and maybe I'll it. watch it. Maybe you haven't seen it. It's... I also haven't seen it. <laughs> so so who who the fuck brought up Black Panther? Oh, did you see it, Jose? Oh, uh, did, did you see it, Dylan? Yeah. Did you see it, Dylan? He shrugged. Okay, so so Dylan Dylan actually went to a protest against it. I guess <laughs> that's crazy. Wow. That's, the, that's, what, that's what that answer wow. gave me. Wow, that's wild. Keegan nice thing to know. Did you see the thing about the black Panther? The, the, actually, there's actually a reason why I'm not gonna go see it. I'm protesting it. Oh. They edited out his penis. Yes, they did. They, they, did you see that shit? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they edited my man's cock out. <laughs> we'll put that on screen. We'll he, that had on screen. Too. he had a he meat too. He had a meat. He had a meat. He had a fucking cannon. They don't care about Latino representation, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the rest of America. Just wanted to make all of our men dickless, yeah. and Dick. little little worms, like Ken dolls. That's why I watch Sex Max when I watch porn. Mm -hmm. You said mm hmm. So. Weird. What mm -hmm. is it? What is it? Weirdo. What is Sex Max? Mm -hmm. Sexmax.com. No, 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 no. I want to know what, it, what he's saying. What, what is Sex Max? Because you obviously know what he's talking about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's um. Sex. To the max. It's <laughs> porn made in Mexico. Ah, okay. We're learning. Yeah. We're learning. You're learning. <laughs> 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 Anyways. Okay. Why'd you bring up Black Panther? Because I wanted we to talk about superheroes. I wanted to make well, we were talking about superheroes first of all. And I also realized that we can all say that we never watched it, which is funny to me. Um, dude, don't fucking touch my hand, bro. Your hand was on mine. Weird as hell. Anyways, there's been tension ever since they kissed. Anyways, you guys want to watch a video of the week? Yeah, we'll do we'll do video of the week. Video. If oh, you could, if you guys could have any superpower, what would it be? 
You know my answer. My I, I, like okay okay let's do big non- invisibility let's do, let's big do invisibility not- so you could creep on women you freak. No, I was gonna say like let's do non traditional. Okay, big feet. Like, big like, feet. Come up with your <laughs> big feet. Why big feet? Only fans. I could sell them on only fans. So he could fucking be real life Bigfoot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Um. What would you do? I would do be able to teleport. Like within a three foot radius, but every time you do it, there's a ten percent chance I just appear in the Sahara Desert. But can't you just dis- uh, teleport away from the? De- oh, but you don't. You, I can yeah. only teleport three feet. And so you just. Dis- but if you teleported enough, maybe you get to the edge of the desert. Yeah, but I, <laughs> <laughs> the biggest fucking desert ever. Yeah, but you teleport somewhere random in the Sahara. I desert. would. I would dead ass walk faster. In in in. It's so not like if you think about the math of it, right? In thirty feet. There is more likely a chance in 30 feet that he will restart because 10 percent. So lost me at math. Yeah. If the if <laughs> if really Thomas has four watermelons, Damn, that is so funny. Why would you? Sally want that? has three. How many watermelons do they? Why have? would you ever want that? Ten. <laughs> math. Like, why would you ever? I'm, 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 well, you said non-traditional. That's non-traditional. I know, but like you said, do something cool. You could say five feet. Um, okay. Maybe or anywhere, years. but one of the times it's the Sahara. Okay, okay, I got another one. Um, you you are invulnerable, but to only anything that is either a nuclear blast or worse. Damn. I mean, that's not bad. So if the Earth gets hit by a meteor, you're good. But you get every, shot in the face. If you get shot by a gun, you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> you get stabbed, you're dead. You fall off a cliff, you're dead. I mean, that's not bad. That's not terrible. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> that just means like if everyone on the planet dies, at least you, you live, get to live. You live. <laughs> what the fuck is the point yeah. of you'll starve? <laughs> and then you'll probably burn hey, after. Man. You'll burn, go to, burn to death. Go to, se- go to Sex Max. Here. Go to Sex Max's go to, yeah, fucking yeah. headquarters. Sex Max Studios will still be up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> them servers will still yep. be up. <laughs> I got them shits on a thumb drive. <laughs> and it's up my butt in case. Because my clothes won't survive the nuclear blast. That's true. Um, if you I thinking? could come up with a superpower... What you thinking? What are you thinking? I would just like. I think it'd be funny if I could just give myself like like Blah. Jesus superpowers. Okay. Like like Jesus stuff. Okay. And just like like obviously I'm not Jesus, but I start like convincing everyone that I am Jesus. Yeah. So you pretty much start a cult. Yeah. That'd be pretty fun. That'd be, I think fun. That'd be pretty fun. Just turning water to wine. Maybe sometimes walking on water. Yeah. What else did he do? Um. He died. He oh, died, and, and, and oh, yeah. what happens if oh, Jesus right. is walking on the water and he turns into wine? Does he just fall through? Ooh, Did yeah, because he never walked on wine. Yeah, but then like if you like if you fall through the wine and you get to the point where it like becomes water again, like does he get stuck? Ooh, yeah, these are all these are all tough. Um, but I mean, th- like I mean, there's all sorts of Jesus stories. Like, mm-hmm. bruh supposedly helped the sick, like cured the sick. I heard he created burritos. <laughs> yeah, bro invented the fifty count at Wendy's. <laughs> Bro made the four for four. <laughs> oh, you know man. the impossible, the impossible whopper. What about it? That was Jesus. That was Jesus. Yeah. Damn, through all through Jesus, all things are possible. Exactly. <laughs> Jesus invented the um, store brand cereal. With the <laughs> the off brand cereal. Stars. Yeah, he like the messed all that. He missed all that. <laughs> oh man. No, but yeah, I mean, we can move on past superhero stuff. Oh, you wanna? Yeah, he didn't get to fucking say shit about his big powers. feet. He said oh, big right. feet. Yeah, sorry. yeah, I have this. I have this video of the week. We've been talking a lot about concerts and stuff. Mm-hmm. I also went to EDC. I forgot to talk about that. Oh, that's but right. And it's we fine. had embarrassing stories that are that's still another, on the back. That's another where? podcast. <laughs> Let us know if you guys want to hear our embarrassing stories. Uh, there was only really one story I had from uh, EDC where I was in the crowd and we're kind of far back and we're just watching this thing, and this girl's like dancing over next to us. I said girl. She's definitely like thirty-five, and um, <laughs> yeah. Hi. She like comes Which, over to our group, like Bruja. comes over. She's like talking to us, and she's talking to me. And I'm holding. We have this like dinosaur th- like totem. It's like hard to explain EDC, but like there's these things that you like walk around with to like signify your group. Yeah. And we had like a little dinosaur plushie, and I had a little bracelet on. And the woman just looks at me, and she goes, uh, "She sounds fucking baked out of her mind." Mm-hmm. And she just goes, "Oh whoa, it's got a little bracelet." And I was like, "Yeah, yeah." She goes, "Would it fit around your dick though?" <laughs> She said that to you? Yeah. 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 That, that alone is funny. But I need to know how he reacted. <laughs> I need to know. Yeah, ask, I'll, I'll put you in a situation. Ask me, yeah. Yeah, what the fuck I'll do you say? I'll put you in a situation. The, the totem, the totem. Yo. 
Dude has got a bracelet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Would it fit around your dick? <laughs> I go, I, I go, what did I say? I, didn't say that. I, go, I go, I go, I go, Would it fit around your dick? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Fuck no, it wouldn't. I'm four inches with a tab, man. I can't, I can't fucking do this shit anymore, man. I can't I fucking say, I don't do know. You say, I don't know. And she asked me, I'm like, I'd look at him like, Shit, bitch. <laughs> I'd be like, with room, bitch. <laughs> 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 Fit around my dick if I went, wiggy, wiggy, wiggy. I kept folding it on itself. <laughs> <laughs> if I tie my shit in a knot, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I don't know. Would you find it funny if I killed myself right now? <laughs> <laughs> Just look at her. Look at the fucking thing. Yeah, what if I killed myself? What would you do? What would you do? <laughs> really, I, I can tell she's high. So it's just, oh, would it fit around your dick? Nightmare, nightmare, <laughs> nightmare. You're dying, you're dying. I was about to say, I was about to say, do you feel like your hands don't have blood right now? Isn't that fucking crazy? Yeah, just look at her, just look at her. What the fuck is on your face? What the fuck is on your face? <laughs> your face, you gotta go to the ER, you gotta go. <laughs> you gotta get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Your eyeballs are falling out of your fucking skull. I don't know what it fit around your neck in 2017. Remember that? Remember that? I'm in your mind. I'm in your head. I'm in your head. Remember that? Remember that? Yeah, my my my, my you, shit could fit in that. You it punch could fit around my dick. You punch the three sh- fingers. <laughs> you pinch her. You pinch. You punch her right in the face. You just think I punched him right now? Are, are you okay? Gaslight. You fell over. <laughs> I did not punch you just there. You just imagine that shit. <laughs> just fucking punching someone in the mouth. Yo, I did not fucking punch you. Yo, you're no. high, bro. You're fucking you're high that as shit. shit Yo, bro. lay down, lay down, lay down, lay down. Just step on him. <laughs> oh man, that shit. Okay, is like, funny. do you think you could convince? Him? I don't know. Maybe I'm gonna try. I feel like you can convince. You can convince Keegan of anything, bro. If he's high, if he's drunk, bro. Keegan, by the way. We had a conversation about this the other day. I, I need to know. Mm-hmm. We talked about the, about the first time you got drunk. Yeah. Right? And it's the infamous picture. The hand on my back? Yeah. Of the hand on your back. Yes. Yeah. A big ass. Five star. That mm-hmm. is literally sticking out because it was yeah. slapped so hard. It's like hard. welded. <laughs> yeah. It was like yeah. someone put a big ass thick ass we'll sticker. Put that, we'll put that up. We'll back. put that up. Do you know who did that to you? I thought it was Jason. Okay, so here's the funniest thing. Both Jason and Philip swear that they slapped the fuck out of your back. That's what I thought. <laughs> I feel which, like I've been hearing both which accounts. Means, which means you got slapped twice yeah. by two different dudes. And we don't know whose handprint that actually is. Yeah. Because I, I just swear in my life, I remember seeing Keegan. And I think I looked over like Cameron or Dylan. And I just go... Yo, I'm gonna slap the fuck out. Because I remember home. that. And then just, whoppa! <laughs> and I just turned the fuck around and left. And I just see Keegan turn around like, ah! and then super he took drunk. His, and then he took his shirt off later, and I'm like, holy fuck, that looks so bad. Like I've never slapped someone harder in my life. And I, just I love that. I love that. This is a. The two people felt yeah. that way that night. <laughs> like two of us wanted to slap the fuck out of my your closest back. friends. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what? These are Keegan's closest friends. Every time Keegan gets drunk with the rest of us, they start to like abuse him. Yeah. They start to like hit him and like force him to wrestle. And yeah, bro. Bring him down. Right Christmas, bro. Shit is so funny. Oh man. But yeah, in the spirit of talking about concerts and stuff, I saw this video. I, it's not that crazy. He's a bumpkin, country bumpkin. A little bit. Production went a little light on the CO2. Uh, CO2, bro. I can only fucking imagine what this is going to be. Does it remind me of the Baby King videos? <laughs> <laughs> just wait. What just just fuck? fucking wait, man. <laughs> it's so going. <laughs> you just see bodies start fucking. Yeah. Start fucking. It's still yeah. fucking going. Yeah, bro, I saw that shit. And I was like, just imagine, bro. Imagine if 
we were at the fucking shit. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Imagine we were at the fucking rock concert. Yeah. And then all of a sudden we just couldn't fucking see. <laughs> the <laughs> loudest shit of all time. A thick ass CO2 fucking You're hitting. Fucking shit. Oh, 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 what the fuck? What the fuck? Do, 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 do. I just spit oh, it out. Oh, do, 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 do. You're choking and dying. Not from the baddies. Not from the baddies. <laughs> At least the baddies can't see through the smoke. Reminds me of the fucking baby king video, man. <laughs> That shit's so funny. Yeah, the baby baby Kim Kim is so funny. What's the one? Who's who did it? Just fucking smack the shit out of. Baby oh. Kim. Oh, was that Baby Kim? Baby Kim. Time out. Oh. Oh, timer. Well, right, well we can just wrap it up. Yeah, that's the end. We don't no, let's get, let's get him in here one okay. more time. I feel like we've been too mean to him. Well, guys, that was a great set of conversations we just had. Uh, thank you so much for joining us for them. Whole hour with the motherfucking hiccups. Oh my god. That is crazy. Yeah. How? Bro, it's. I, don't I know. get rid of him in fucking ass, five minutes. My hiccups ass, last a while. Did not hiccup a single time when he was off camera. Yes, and I'm I serious. Did. Yes, I did. Fake ass hiccup. You're doing it for attention. He <laughs> is. You're doing it for attention. That's why his ass started the fucking yeah, the fucking off. podcast. <laughs> <laughs> That's Anyways. why his ass started. Let's make it a bit. <laughs> Anyways, let's keep going. Jason, I want to you. Let's see. I'm not scared of that. Not scared well, of them. nothing to be scared of. You Go. listen to the four of us: Keegan, Dylan, Christian, and myself, Jason. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram at Keegpix. Um, anything else? Any outros for you guys? Um, shout out the really bad band that played at the Rock. You can find follow them on Instagram at Official Challenger. Okay, they yes. fucking suck that They're night. But dog shit. You should check them out on Instagram. Yeah. And That's uh, so yeah, anything else for you? Can I tank this um pot politically? Sure. I'm gonna come. Oh, uh, well, you, why don't you let me say it? You're not gonna say it. Soda. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bumna. There he is. Yeah. Uh, 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 thank you so much for watching. I love you. Soda. Soda. Say that shit, Keegan. Oh, Bumna. Yeah.